Alright, we're back. The next match is, is the uh, Impact Wrestling Exhibition or Extreme title, as Abyss calls it. Triple Threat. Abyss versus Kazarian versus Brian Kendrick. Kendrick and Kaz hang together for, for a bit as when the bell rings and Kaz walks off. Kaz and Kendrick wait for the apron a bit before coming in. Both Kaz and Kendrick go for Abyss, but Abyss fights Kendrick off. Abyss goes for a splash on Kaz, but, but he misses, and Kaz tries to use his speed to his advantage with a quick series of punches. Kaz has a drop kick, but is to he's tossed away for a quick back elbow from Abyss. Kendrick is in with a series of kicks and a couple of drop kicks. He goes for a crossbody, and Abyss catches him, picking him up, tossing him to the floor on top of Kaz. Kendrick and Kaz talk for a bit on the outside before go coming into the ring at the same time. Double teaming Abyss, forcing him to roll onto the outside. Kaz for a baseball slide, but he's dropped, tossed outside by Abyss. Kaz for, goes for a dive over the top, but it's caught by Abyss. Kaz hits his drop kick, and Kendrick down on top of Abyss. Kaz and Kendrick continue to work over Abyss, sending him back into, into the inside of the ring. Kaz and Kendrick trap Abyss in the corner, hitting him with a ver variety of running moves to the corner, knee, elbow, splash, clothesline, but Kendrick goes. To for another, and Abyss catches him with a bit of a black hole slam. Abyss back bride drops Kaz on the apron, but Kaz comes back in only to eat a boot from, from Abyss. Kendrick comes to climb back into the ring, but Abyss punches him back into the outside. Abyss chokes Kaz in the corner for a bit before laying him on an enormous overhand chop. Abyss launches Kaz in the corner hard before going back to Kendrick under the apron, hitting him with a Giant headbutt to send him back to the arena floor. Abyss sends Kaz back to the corner before changing in with a big close on to take Kaz off its feet. Abyss takes Kaz up and Kaz begins biting on Abyss's finger to avoid a further beating. Kaz continues to the biting, finding his way to his feet and Kaz begins to beat on Abyss on the corner. Kaz continues for a splash but Abyss avoids, avoids it and turns into a shock treatment for Kaz. Abyss and Kaz, circles Kaz and drags him to the corner. Abyss goes to the middle rope and launches himself off of a Vader bomb, but Kaz moves. Abyss gets back to his feet and Kendrick catches him with a drop kick to the knee, then a single leg drop kick, another drop kick, and a missile drop kick. They can't keep Abyss down for free. Kendrick hits a beautiful enziguri before going to the middle rope and hitting a jumping DDT, but he gets another two count off the pin. Kaz goes for sliced bread. But Abyss pushes him away, connected with a giant choke slam. Kaz comes back with a, with a house of fire, taking it to Abyss. With a big rope hurricanrana, Kaz catches Abyss with a springboard back elbow for a double drop kick. For a lo fucking load of drop kicks, man. For Kaz and Kendrick. Kaz hits a slingshot leg drop, and Kendrick hits a big splash. Both men go over the pin, but Abyss kicks out. Kaz almost gets a roll up, but Abyss kicks out again. Abyss shows Kaz and the Kendrick before rolling out to the outside. Kaz begins fighting with each other, laying in with laying in with right hands before setting each other off into opposite corners. Kendrick goes to the top, but Kaz catches him with a quick enziguri. Kaz goes to the top, but Kendrick goes for a flux capacitor, but Kendrick pushes him off. Kaz jumps off, Kaz, Kaz catching him. Kendrick fights Kaz off and goes to the ropes, but Abyss pulls him in out of the ring, sneaks back into the ring and pin Kaz, gaining the free count and retaining the Extreme Championship. The next match is Crimson versus Samoa Joe. Crimson runs to the ring and he and Joe begin trading blows immediately. Crimson buries the shoulder in Joe's midsection in the corner, but Joe digs into some, to some knees in Crimson's chest. Joe sends him to the outside when Joe goes to the suicide dive. Crimson hits him with a big forearm and Joe goes limp. Crimson sends Joe into the ring where he immediately, immediately goes to work looking for a cravat. Joe fights out of it, but Joe, the Crimson Joe, drills Joe back, right back to the mat, remounting him and laying with a series of right hands. Crimson locks in another cravat, but Joe fights out of it. Joe beats Crimson down on the map when he's back on his feet. Joe goes for a dragon screw, but Crimson kind of falls during it, preventing him. Just preventing it. Joe takes Crimson to the corner. He slaps him in the face and stomps him. 
Joe picks up Crimson and lays in a big forearm, but Crimson begins fighting back. Crimson charges Joe, but Joe crashes him, shoulders him, and drops him down to his knees. Joe locks in a leg bar, but Crimson is able to grab the ropes and break the hold. Joe begins to lay onto Crimson with a series of kicks, and when Crimson grabs the leg, Joe rolls him over to another leg submission. Crimson grabs the ropes, breaking the hold again. Joe locks in a spinning toe hold on Crimson, wrenching away at his knee. Crimson is able to counter into a head arm lock combo, but Joe grabs the ropes, forcing a break. Both men get back to their feet while Joe slaps Crimson, and Crimson responds with a big T-bone suplex. Crimson hits a big double arm DDT, but it's only good for a two count. Crimson doesn't relent, but he turns right back to Joe, laying with a clubbing blow across the back. Crimson sends Joe across the ring, but Joe comes back with a big belly to belly, belly to back suplex, and he would close the line. He goes for a pin, gets out at the two count. Crimson goes back, only to be sent to the corner, and hits with a big open palm thrust. Joe goes to the middle rope and leaps off, leaps out on it to Crimson with a huge flying knee, but he still can't keep Crimson down for free. Joe picks Crimson up and hits him with a big power bomb, but Crimson kicks out at two. Joe transitions right into the single Boston Lake Crab, Boston Lake Crab, whatever, but Crimson grabs onto the ropes again, forcing the break. Joe stands up to catch Crimson with a big blow to the face. Both men trade slaps before Joe hits a big headbutt on Crimson to the giant spear. The referee begins to count and both men are up for an eight count. For an eight count, Joe and Crimson trade right hands in the middle of the ring. Crimson gained the upper hand. Joe is able to come back with several big slaps, then Crimson back to the corner. But Joe hits Crimson on the top rope. But Crimson fights back, fights it off. Joe goes up behind Crimson and tries to lock in a choke. But Crimson backs Joe up into the corner and breaks the hold. Joe charges Crimson and Crimson goes up. Big sit up power bomb, pinning Joe, getting the free bounce, and thus remaining undefeated is Crimson. After the match, Joe offers Crimson his hand. Crimson shakes it. Joe pulls Crimson in close and says some of the Crimson, which they interprets as we will do this again. Joe walks off the back. Backstage, JB is with Angelina Love and Winter. Winter is doing the one doing all the talking. She says, when Love wins the title, they'll be closer to the making their dreams come true. She knows Love is ready, but it's time, she says, it's time for Love to take her medicine. Love stops her. She says she doesn't need to... They're on the same page, and she understands. Both women walk off, leaving JB in their wake. And for the Knockouts Championship, it is Becky James versus Angelina Love. The bell begins, and this one's ready to begin. That's what they just fucking said. Both women lock up, and Love tosses Becky away before grabbing her by her hair and tossing her away again. Both ladies go for the hair, but Love comes up with an arm bar instead, reaching Mickey's arm and sending her down to the mat. Love backs Mickey up into the corner and drives her shoulder into Mickey's section repeatedly. Love hits Mickey with a couple of boots to the stomach. But Mickey comes right back with a big hurricanrana. Love's quick to respond with a suplex, but James gets out at two. James turns things around, but is pulled to the outside by Winter with a reference to the looking. Love follows out and again talking, taking it to James with big right hands before sending it back to the ring. Mickey begins fighting back, hitting a couple big forearms, but Love put, pulls her back down, sending her to the corner. He comes back right back with a big clothesline. Love recovers more quickly and tosses Mickey out to the floor. Love follows and picks Mickey up when she goes to slam her into the ring steps. Mickey avoids and Love heads first to the ring steps. Winter checks on Angelina, but she backs up by the ref. Back in the ring, both women get to their knees and trade forearms. Angelina gets the upper hand, but Mickey comes back with a big clothesline. Mickey lays into Love for a couple of big forearms, but then close on to take Love off her feet. Mickey plants Love with a kind of face buster before Mickey comes to the top and leaps with a fast plus on top of Love. Which distracts Mickey and the ref, but Mickey is able to connect with the drop with a chin kick. Mickey goes for the pin, and Winter puts Love's foot on top of the rope. Love connects with the bow dock injection, but goes for the pin, but Mickey gets her hands on the rope. Winter tries to push it off, but then they're kind of warning her. Love goes for something else, but Mickey fights it off and goes for a DDT. Winter distracts her and Love goes for something else, but Mickey hits a Northern Lights suplex instead. And we're going to have to go to another video and have to edit this out. I'm sorry about that.